Dustin, do you just want to maybe give, you know, uh, some of the, the followers, some of the intentions that you really focus on? Yeah, I think a lot of it comes to being aggressive and confident and then uh, hitting that respa breath. Because in the Polish league, it's I'm on a team that we could fight for maybe fifth place. We can also get maybe 11th place. And so every week, it's, it's not like there's an easy match. Every week, it's a big match. And so with that, you play big servers and maybe – even if you're playing a great game, you're passing 50% positive, not perfect positive. So it's just coming back time and time again and just being as present as possible and having that confident, aggressive mindset where it's like, I'm going to go hard in the seam every time. Like, I'm going to be okay with a bad pass because I'm going to come right back rather than letting the external environment dictate how you feel. And maybe it's uh, anxiety, insecurity, or worse, shame. So it's just, constantly kind of reframing and then having something to come back to, which I'm sure we can, we'll get to later. For you as a libero, uh, what does that look like specifically for you to be aggressive? Is that something general for a position? Like I'm just going to hog this seam or is that aggression specific to you saying like, I am going to take a huge first step every single time. <laughs> I mean, a lot of times in the Polish league, you don't even get a step. <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah, I mean, it's it's rather than having like uh, like the ambiguity about the seams, just always going. Like for example, yeah. usually if a player is serving in area one, it's like left seams, right? Player serving in area five, it's right seams. But I also like to dictate in front and behind, and because there's going to be servers that not only can hit it like right in the middle consistently but maybe they have like some side spin so it's going off one guy's shoulder into the seam so the guy's like the guy that's going off the shoulder he's like all right it's going away from me and the other guy's like well it's on this guy and so for me especially in a jump serve I always like to go behind no matter where I am I just go behind because if it's easy then the outsider can pick it off and he can get some confidence passing that confidence will translate to hitting and no matter what there's no ambiguity on my part. If the outside hitter doesn't want it, I'm going every time hard behind and I can fall. So I can go and take that step or just lunge and fall and I can commit to it every time. If he takes it, great. I can fall back and nothing happens. I don't need to get up and hit a pipe. And if he doesn't take it, I'm tracking it the whole way and just going. And so leaving no ambiguity and just going every time. If it's a short serve, getting that first good step going forward, and then same thing on a float serve. I want my outside hitters, if they feel good and it's an easy serve, I want them to eat it up because that will transfer to their attacking confidence. So it's the easy balls, they can go in front and get, but I'm going to go behind just in case they're not feeling good or they kind of back out. And so I'm always there. And then on defense too, it's, it's a big deal mindset where it's like someone hits a ball or someone hits a ball. There's like that millisecond where you're like, mm, maybe someone else's, or it's just like, I'm going. And so it's like that same thought every time on defense, on covering, on setting a ball. Because a lot of times with setting, maybe liberals and outsides or opposites and middles can relate. There's that like second where the ball comes and you're like, mm, I don't want to set it. And like that thought just like destroys you because now you start manifesting a bad set even before it happens. So it's like that ball comes and you're like, great, it's mine. And just trying to make that switch every time. See, mine, tip, mine, I'm going. I get it. I get to have this opportunity to go with the ball rather than like, Oh no, this opportunity is for me to mess up. Wow, so, dude. Those are like, gems, dude. Those are serious yeah. gems right there for liberos. <laughs> Any liberos listening? Oh man. You know what I think was so, what was great about the insight is the reps when you're not touching the ball and that's what creates that pattern of aggression. Cause like you said, like when you, when you ha give yourself a moment to decide the ball's already gone, but more importantly, you're not creating the habit. You're creating a habit of making a decision, but it can't be a decision. It has to be a habit. So I think what was great about that is even when I'm not passing, I am moving like I'm passing. So if they don't pass, I'm still there. If they do pass, great. But you're just there. That was great. Yeah. yeah. And you're just kind of like, you know, wiring the, the neurons where it's just like you see the ball, you go. And so there's actually one time, one year, and maybe I, I can do this again. I think I'd still benefit from it. One year in Finland where after practice I would run lines and I'm sure my teammates are like, why is this guy running lines? 
but I would count, I would keep tallying my head. Every ball I didn't go for would be a set of like six lines. Uh-huh. And for me, I'm like slow. I hate running. I hate conditioning. And so this was like the worst thing that could happen. And so for me, in practice, there was that intention where it's like, I'm going for every ball. It doesn't matter if it's like a foot in front of me or 20 feet and hitting the wall. I'm just like going. So like wiring in in my brain, that first step, I see the ball, I go, I see the ball, I go, I see the ball, I go. And if not, I had those line trips and then, you know, I wanted to, I didn't want to run. And so I started, you know, fixing it mentally. And then again, I had this great first step where I never felt I was a great defensive player, but I just kind of had this grit where it's just like, I'm just going to beat the ball to the floor. It's not I'm a great defensive player. It's I'm going to beat the ball to the floor.